Hi! Today I wanted to show you my sewing book collection. My books are in English because when I started sewing uh, I could find more stuff in English, more blogs and more channels on YouTube. So that's how I, I got them because of people who reviewed them. And the first one I want to show you is this lovely little box of cards. My mother-in-law collected them while she was, I don't know if a teenager or before having my husband. And it is really nice. It explains really well different things, basic stuff, uh, darts, uh, seams, hems, and it's really nice. It's really useful. I've used it quite a lot and I love it and it's really valuable as well. The next one I want to show you is this uh, Dressmaker's Technique Bible. It's more or less the same, it's all the basic stuff you need to know or you need to consult when sewing. All the zippers and waistbands and collars and hems. More or less the same as that one, but as well, really complete and nice. I've used this one quite a lot. Then I have, I think everyone has this one. I've seen loads of people with this one. It's really nice. I think it's beautiful. It's these couture sewing techniques and it's lovely. The way they explain it, the way uh, all the, the rich vocabulary they use, it's really nice. It's, it's not for, well, you can use it for consulting something, but if you read it as a, as a hobby or as a pastime, it's lovely. It's really nice. And this is from when I made my wedding dress. I consulted a bit, things I wanted to do, and it helped me a lot. Still, it wasn't couture, my dress, but well, I made it myself, so I'm quite pleased with it. So I quite recommend this one. Then I have two Buddha style ones. This one is like a basic a sewing handbook, and this one is vintage sewing. No. So in vintage modern and they're really good because uh, they bring like a basic pattern and three different ones you can alter it to and then at the back it has an envelope with all the different patterns and it's really nice it's quite good if you want to start sewing and you don't know how this is quite good because you follow the pattern and that's it and then I have my this is the order I'm reading it. And then I have my pattern books. This is a bit more dense. You know, I always uh, try to make my own patterns because I think uh, they, well, of course, they fit you better. And if I don't use my mannequin, I like measuring myself and uh, putting that on paper so you can make your own stuff uh, and you can make it fit really well. So I want to make it a bit more professional, I want to know what I'm doing. So I've started reading these pattern making ones. The first one is how patterns work. It's really good, I think it explains it really well. The same as this one, dress pattern, making your dress pattern. Uh, they are really good. I think it's like, it feels like if you were going to a school and these were your notes. So it's really nice, it's easy to follow both of them and uh, really good. I quite enjoyed reading them. And this one is uh, useful because at the end of each chapter it brings a summary. So if you haven't read for a while, you read a few summaries and you pick up straight away. Then I have this metric pattern cutting for women's wear. This is a bit more complete, not complete, this is different. These are like the basics and this is a bit more of how you should uh, measure everything for different sizes and how to put that on paper. Uh, but it's really nice. I haven't, I've consulted this one but I haven't read it at uh, all so I'm on it. And then I have
have this one. Uh, well, the same as this one. I haven't read it uh, in uh, complete. The two times I've consulted it, it haven't worked for me. I think uh, they are more advanced books and I think uh, it must be that I'm not getting it but when I consulted it, it I, I couldn't follow there were letters that were coming from nowhere and I, I, I couldn't make my mind around it so uh, it was a mess then I get frustrated I don't know how to go back or where to I don't know, it's, it's, well, it's, it's more advanced, I think it's more advanced. And lastly, I have my grandma's Buddha magazines. They're really good, I love them, I really like them. Apart from the sentimental value they have, I think they're really nice to look at them now. It's funny because half of it comes in German. So uh, the paper where the patterns come, comes with explanations and um, that's what they tell you in Spanish and I think it would be really good I'm having a look at them and I have a few things I like uh, to follow one of the patterns uh, and uh, go blind by looking at this but I think it would be worth it so that's all if you think about any books you have and you recommend let me know that in the comments I think I would really like one about uh, types of fabrics that would be nice let me know what you think and of course don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything that's coming on tuesday bye